Although Taylor Sheridan's neo-Western series Yellowstone has garnered much of Kevin Costner's attention in recent years, the Oscar winner's Hollywood career has always been heavily influenced by Westerns. With roles in Wyatt Earp, Dances with Wolves, and Silverado, the actor and filmmaker has had a significant impact on Western cinema and television. The Oscar winner, who has received praise for his abilities both in front of and behind the camera, has spent the better part of four decades demonstrating a connection to the frontier. Though he did excellent job on the aforementioned films, Open Range from 2003 is still his greatest contribution to the genre. Taking the directing reins once more, Costner and Robert Duvall play co-herders of cattle in a small Montana community who encounter a brutal Irish rancher. The film, which is meditative, masterfully played, and has one of the most exciting shoot-outs in Western history, keeps confirming Costner's status as a major storyteller. Open Range with Kevin Costner, What Is It About? Open Range, which is based on Lauren Payne's 1990 novel, follows Charlie Waite, Costner, and boss Spearman, Duval as they drive a herd of cattle through the breathtaking Western landscape of 1882. Along with Button, Diego Luna, and Mose, Abraham Ben Rudy, the guys are in danger after drawing the unwelcome notice of Denton Baxter, Michael Gambon, a cunning landowner who controls the neighboring town of Harmonville. After making friends with Sue Barlow, Annette Benning, her brother Doc, Dean McDermott, and Percy, Michael Jatter, Boss and Charlie come to terms with the fact that they are each intended targets in a dangerous place. With his minions applying growing pressure and his complete disdain for herders on his land, Baxter placed the aged cattleman on the offensive, setting the scenario for an epic battle. Kevin Costner tells stories in a slow-burning style. Open Range is a well-paced and planned Western that prefers to take its time rather than provide audience-pleasing action and thrills. Although it is always tempting to get right into gunplay, Costner allows his film breathing room as it explores life in the Old West. Audiences get a close-up look at the everyday life of cattlemen who are either in or nearing their twilight years before meeting Denton Baxter and his men. As they travel across verdant prairies and undulating hills, the frontiersmen frequently struggle with the practicalities of their way of life. Boss and Charlie enjoy their time as herders, playing cards to pass the time during violent storms, struggling to pull their wagon out of the mud, and being philosophical about seemingly little aspects of their daily lives. Open Range presents events patiently, eschewing dramatic glorification and spectacle in favor of practical, considered storytelling. Even as the eventual prospect of violence looms large and the odds continue to build against our heroes. The film's deliberate restraint, however, doesn't lessen the tension as Boss and Charlie get closer to their day of reckoning. Watchers will be on edge as Costner extracts every last bit of tension from Craig Storper's screenplay by emphasizing the presence of impending conflict. The film builds to an explosive conclusion in open range. Kevin Costner gives characters more weight than action. Boss and Charlie are afforded ample opportunity to engage in intimate and revealing reflections on the past, present, and future. Despite the inherent dangers of navigating an unforgiving natural landscape and coping with the often violent men who inhabit it, in contrast to the near-mythical stature of a gunslinger such as Wyatt Earp, and unlike Dances with Wolves' John Dunbar, whose epic quest of discovery unfolds on a vast canvas, Costner's Charlie offers audiences a more subdued and repressed form of Western protagonist. A brutal past and a soldier of the Civil War, his ambitions and worries regarding his situation are common and poignant. Furthermore, Charlie gets the chance to open out to the elder boss through their relationship, sharing ideas and emotions that reserved Western stereotypes usually keep to themselves. The shootout at open range is the best in the West. Viewers have been with Boss and Charlie for over a hundred minutes by the time the gunfire in open range begins, so the growing suspense before their shootout with Denton Baxter and his gang is well earned. The stakes are great, and the tension further heightens the impact of the action, as there is a growing feeling that the two cattlemen don't think they will live, they tell each other their true names prior to the gunfight. For almost 20 minutes of screen time, the action picks up speed right away and hardly slows down. It begins with a real and metaphorical bang. Approximately 12 men are killed, and the townspeople are scared when the last rounds are fired. 
However, Boss Charlie and a wounded button remain upright, and there is a tangible and fulfilling feeling of justice for the wrongs done to them. A fresh beginning is in store for Harmonville when it finally shakes off the tyrannical rule of Denton Baxter, his posse, and a dishonest marshal. After falling in love with Sue, Charlie vows to accompany Boss back to town, and the two men talk about taking over the neighborhood saloon. Even though it would be simple, or even tempting, to write off Open Range's resolution as a perfect happy ending, it is in line with the film's delicate and honest portrayal of the relationship between its worn-out protagonists.